All right, and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Demir Tezzerator. This has been a deck that a lot of people have been asking for, a lot of people have been excited about, where we are going to try to play Tezzeret, Master the Bridge, here in Standard. So let's take a look at Tezzeret, Master the Bridge first, and I'll kind of talk a little bit more about the rest of the deck. So it gives our creatures and Planeswalker spells affinity for artifacts. You know, that's something that we'll you know, maybe use, but isn't like the, the most important thing. The plus two, dealing damage to each opponent where uh, dealing X damage, where X is the number of artifacts you control, and then you gain X life. That's the real reason that we want to be playing Tezzeret here. So we want a lot of artifacts in play, be able to play it plus two, drain them for however many artifacts. We have four artifacts in play. We drain them for four, and we're going to you know keep on doing that every turn. The minus three of returning an artifact from your graveyard to your hand, and then even the minus, and then also the minus eight of exiling ten top ten cards and putting a bunch of artifacts into play. Those aren't going to be ones that I I expect to basically ever activate at all. It's basically just all about the plus two. So we want ways to be able to get a good amount of artifacts in play. So that's what our deck's kind of built around. So we have um, other planeswalkers that are able to get multiple artifacts in play with Tezzeret, Karn, and Sahili. Um, I didn't go with Karn, the, the Great Creator, in this, this deck list. Basically, because Karn, the Great Creator, uh, has, like, the minus two ability to grab artifacts from your graveyard. Or, sorry, from your sideboard. And there's just not very many good artifacts that I really want in the sideboard. And while I liked we played like Mono Green Tron uh, yesterday where we had Karn the Great Creator in there and we had a whole bunch of artifacts. I mean, it was it was a best of one deck. But I like that idea more whenever you're playing like the big mana deck. We, we're not really a big mana deck here and like some of like the most, some of the best sideboard cards or like cards to grab with Karn were like Meteor Golem and uh, the six mana statue that makes spells cost more. Um, but like the, those cards can be Difficult to cast. Like, those cost 6 and 7 mana without having uh, Nyssa. We do have Tezzeret that helps uh, play, like, the creatures, like Meteor Golem, cheaper. But that wasn't really, like, the way I wanted to go with the deck. I wanted to just basically have, like, a, a blue-black control deck where we have our artifact theme. So that's that's what I'm trying out here, where our sideboard is just full of good blue and black interactive spells. Um, so I, I'm not playing a ton of artifacts main deck, but we are playing some. So we have we have two Psy Master Thopterus in the deck, and if we don't have a whole lot of artifact spells, then Psy is not going to be super good because you know you need to cast artifacts to be able to trigger it. But Psy is a good blocker against aggro at being a one four, and even if you don't have like the other artifacts to play, you can still you can still pay two and sack two artifacts to draw a card, so it can still help us draw through our deck if we are making artifacts with cards like Sahili or Tezzeret, Artifice Master, or I guess even Karn. So it's a, it's a way to to turn through the deck also. Um, no, so I I have not tried Guardian of of Kolios, like the the combo of having Guardian of Kolos be uh, zero man and everything. No, we're playing more of a straight up game here. Because um, yeah, there's not a lot of good artifacts. There's not. We got basically a treasure map. I got one Spyglass in the main and three Fountain Renewals in the main, and I could certainly see going two fountain two spyglass fountain's just not really that good it's, it's okay it helps keep you alive which which is nice i guess the best thing it is it's one mana so it pairs really well with sai and sahili of being able to play these because one problem with sahili is if you just play sahili on turn three and then you have to untap before you play like one other spell and make a one one if your opponent has creatures in play like they could just you know, be attacking and killing your Sahili before you get to do anything with it. So that's that's the main reason why we got the Mox Amber in here, because it just pairs perfectly with Sahili of and you know also with Sai, but of like giving you the extra one one right away for uh defense. Thaumatic Compass is an option that I, I certainly thought about. Uh but seven you know we don't we don't necessarily have seven lands all the time. I don't know. Yeah, I like Thaumatic Compass. I like Thaumatic Compass as a card, but I, I think I would rather have Founder Renewal. I definitely considered other things that are cheap uh, in that slot, 
that can also cycle like claws because claws also cost one mana the scrabbling claws and it can be good against phoenix or like the dread horde decks that are around or things like that and it only costs one mana to sacrifice it and draw where this costs three mana to sacrifice and draw but i think that the, i think the one life every turn is maybe more valuable um but anyway that's that's where we're at here Let's give this a try. It's this is not like the best deck ever, but it can it can win some games. I played a few matches with it today, like while I was putting it together, and it's it's not the most powerful stuff, but so Azor's Gateway. That's a good question. So yeah, Azor's Gateway is pretty decent. I the biggest thing I don't love about Azor's Gateway these days is with all the little Teferi's around. It's a pretty rough one to have bounced. Um, but if you're just going through your deck and just uh, looting every turn, it's it's not bad. I could see playing that over Spyglass, but I like I like Spyglass even main deck. It's good against almost everything. So mono red. Basically, if it's a spell, we're keeping. If it's a land, we're ditching it. So I'm just going to be playing the treasure map. So I could see just playing Karn and making making a 3-3. As I'll make Karn pretty vulnerable. Wow, that was like the perfect card to draw. I didn't even have to do the scrying thing. That was really convenient. That was the card that I would have scribed to look for. Hey, what's up, Hude? Yeah, treasure map is jank glue. <laughs> it's true. So good thing about big Tezzeret. Tezzeret does let help. us gain life. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Yeah, get that light of the stage out of here. I'll take that Spyglass. Thank you. See, Spyglass is just good against everybody. It's a lot of burn spells. A lot of burn spells. Where's Chandra? Chandra. <laughs> yeah, we have just been getting the perfect draws here. So it happens when you're playing the Tesseract deck, you get some good draws. No, Shekel, I'm sorry to hear that. You ordered food through DoorDash and they never delivered it. That's a bummer. Ow. Alright, so there's the light up. Stage has been lit up. <laughs> yeah, we could enter the God Eternals our own Karn token. Um, this isn't bad. Yeah, I guess I'll keep that. I guess because like we're gonna be surviving here for a little bit. We can double spell with with that and card next turn. I like that. Big creature. Our <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. So we got like a two turn clock with this 10 10 here. Oh, I guess it's. No, it's only a 9 9 this next turn. Well, yeah, it'll be a two turn clock because they can minus Karn again and make it a 10 10. But they'll. Okay, they are, they're not going to kill Karn. So down to eight. Can they kill me next turn? I sure hope not. I 
I mean, I guess so. Uh, no, dude, and I don't have any... No plans there. Oh, say hello to my little friend. I'll just self-mill. I won't give him any risk factors. Surprised they didn't kill the Karn. Hopefully they can't kill us. 13's the most I could do right there. Down to 10. Down to 7. Alright, not dead. The deck did stuff. <laughs> Is it time to attack Chandra? <laughs> Wasn't quite time to attack Chandra. All right, bringing all our all our removal, or like side all the sideboard. Enter sideboard. All right, so Sahili. I think we kind of have to just change our deck up a good amount. Like, Sahili doesn't seem very good, right? Like, they just play, like, Chain Whirlers and kill the stuff. Kind of the same thing with Artifice Master. Um, yeah, bring in the other deck. I guess I need to... Trim at least one of these master of bridges. And take out Mox Amber with taking the Sahilis out. So you can just play some okay defense. What else do we do here? We do have a lot of removal, that's true. Maybe we can take out a couple of Sid or Cry. I'd rather take out Cry. Okay. I always liked to yeah, I always liked to enter the God Eternals. I I was definitely not one of those that said it wouldn't be constructed playable. I like that card, just five mana, four four gain four. And deal and you know, deal deal four damage to a creature and gain four life. Uh, no, Negate doesn't really suit the deck a ton, no, but if we get to... So, our goal here in this matchup is to be able to kill all their creatures with all the removal we have. And then be able to use uh, Negate to be able to protect from burn spells that are going to be killing us in the later later game. All right, play some D, Master Thopterist. We need it. So if I take the six, I'm I'm really at five because of the firebrand. If I take that, then I'm really at five because of firebrand. And that's not somewhere I wanted to be. 
Um, I will fight this Awaken. I guess I'm still going to five. This chain whirler attacking with the chain whirler. I don't know. I, I think that's my best play of like surviving until I enter the God Eternals, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And this is not the best play to survive until then because I didn't block the chain whirler. You know, blocking the chain whirler does give me that extra point of life. But we'll see. Okay. We're drawing the Fountain of Renewals right now. Exactly what we want to be drawing. No! There's some good cards. I was a little sarcastic there with the whole Fountain of Renewal thing, by the way. <laughs> uh, we ditched another Enter the God Eternals. Attack with one of these. Let me attack with that. Because I don't want to attack. I don't want to attack with this one, and then they and they have lava coil and kill, kill this. No attack. All right. I guess I'm going no attack. All right, answer for Phoenix. What we got? We got. Can we find a contempt in here? Not an answer for Phoenix. I need contempt. Ugh, gross. Um That's not negate. Gate. That's not negate. Gate. Hmm. Keeps me alive. They would have just done it in their own turn, I'd be dead. At least I'm still alive for the slightest of bits. Okay, well now we're dead. Not by the slightest of bits. All right, let's get the second Tesser edit in on the play. I want to ditch a guild globe. Yeah, I want to ditch a guild globe. <sighs> we tried. We tried. All right, game three. I think if we would have, you know, obviously it's just complete hindsight, but I think if we would have, uh, um, if we would have entered the God Eternals, our opponent, I think we would have won because we we found Contempt and another Enter the God Eternals, or like a couple of the next cards. That was rough. So I'm predicting my opponent's gonna have light up the stage here. That's my prediction. 
I'm going to negate the light up the stage. All right, prediction did not come through. Hey, what's up, Danny? Try to untap with this Thopterus next turn. You don't have duress and negate. Oh, I need land. Yeah, uh, no, does it copy the progress with treasure map? No, it, you don't get to add counters uh, with treasure map with Sahili's minus two. Bane fire. Land. Ooh, we're doing it. Get out of here. We are doing it. Let's keep hitting lands. That Banefire is going to kind of struggle with the Fountain of Renewal. No! The only thing oh, no! So cute. Tibalt? Oh, no. What a perfect time for that card. Could you transform it? No, you can't. No, because it. No, even if it did have the counters, you couldn't transform it because it doesn't have like the back part. I adore. This worked out for us with them making that attack. Now I get to kill Tabalt. We will bounce this thing. Tibalt. Dead. Well, this wasn't very fun. All right, we can gain life again. All right, I'm gonna hit them this time. Alright, so they put these in backwards, so they were going to draw up Light Up the Stage. Like, their next turn, they were going to draw Light Up the Stage, which was going to hit Lava Run or Pyromancer. That's what they were going to draw. Now they draw Mountain. Alright, time, time for the Claw. Time for the Claw. Don't you see? Only have one you artifact have out. Lost. Still such a cool animation. It's definitely just worth playing this deck just for that animation. Yeah, we're draining them for one on our six mana card. OP. You should just concede. Pew pew, pew pew. You made an Esper list with Smothering Tithe and Emergency Powers and four copies of Tezzeret. That's that's a sweet deck. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's build build your own Soren. 
over here. Could have minus eight Tezzeret just to see what it does. You want to see the ultimate? Uh. I guess I should have done that just to see what it does. All right, we'll we'll ultimate another time. Yeah, does it does it have an animation? Has anybody ultimated uh, Tezzeret before? Yeah, our opponent was going out on their own terms. There. I think I got 26 lands in here. 25. Alright, good. Good first draw. Some purple lightning. JR. See, I'd like to place a Healy here, but that thing's pretty big. I'll just do this and act and be able to activate treasure map. If I just didn't play treasure map, I could have just end step scorned and then untapped and Sahili. Really? Thrashing Brontodon? Who plays Thrashing Brontodon? Boo. Alright, Karnch hit, hit some more land drops for us. Get us to Tezzeret next turn. Yeah, spark, dub spark doubling a, a Tezzeret and have having double claw every turn would be pretty cool. You may regret that choice. Contempt and Tezzeret? No, I want I want the Tezzeret. I shall we begin. I shall we begin. Wow, that 1-1 is taken hostage. Ow. Cease this nonsense! Okay, so I can Sahili plus Tyrant Scorn. That's not so bad. It is the ideal subordinate. And go grab the Tezzeret. What an interesting creature. Let's see how you work. Nisa. Protect the virtue of this world. Harness the elements. This is good. I think I have trample? No. Because I want to kill the Midnight Reaper first. Because of the whole drawing cards and stuff. Uh, I don't 
want to say no blocks. Yeah, Karn can take it. Karn's strong. This will not deter me. Ugh. That was the problem with killing the Midnight Reaper and not the forest. Are you certain of your decision? So would I rather enter the God Eternals or Contempt? It's gotta be Contempt. Yeah, it's gotta be Contempt. Gotta get Nessa out of here. Fight on without me. This will keep an eye on you. Yeah, I've gotta kill Nissa. Ugh, kinda wish I would've killed the forest. No. More Nissas. That's bad. We will not fail. Rise, my elemental friend. All right. Um, ritual of Flit seems awesome against Nissa's. So does Contempt and Enter the God Eternals. I don't know if Fountain Renewal is really going to do very much for us this game. You know, like the little bit of life it gains. I don't. I don't think it's gonna really make that. You know, make like any difference at all. It is a one CMC artifact. Just true. I don't really know what else to take out though. Could take out the. Could trim on Sahili, with them pressuring. I trim on Sahili, I won't trim on Mox Amber. So I'll take out one one fountain, one Mox Amber, two Sahili. We'll go with that. We still have like Big Tezzeret that makes artifacts for for or we have Yeah, it's still Big Tezzeret. So Big Tezzeret makes artifacts for Big Gur Tezzeret. Just big and bigger, those two. <laughs> that was a really good surrender, right? Right after one blocked creature. Nope, that's it. Hmm. Hmm. Basically, they're keeping their seven. They're happy with their seven. Real unlikely I'm gonna get there with the five. With this, if we draw a second land, I can like use one treasure map to help find more lands, kind of thing. And we have three looks at another land between the scry and our two draw steps. So at three looks for another land. Went for it there, we'll upkeep scry. You bring in answers for creatures and stuff and keep Tez, you can Karn the Creator and sideboard all your artifacts. So that just means having all the removal in the main deck. And having zero artifacts in the main deck. I don't want that, I want to land. Land. Hooray. Gotta keep them away from Nyssa. Hmm. 
Under a spyglass. Okay. My car can do stuff. I mean, it's not gonna... It's not gonna do very much for us. It kills, like, the first land, but then they just make more... Have more lands and everything. Wild animal. This is not... <sighs> Not dead yet. No one knows the wilds like I do. Do I need like negates? In this matchup, this card's so hard to beat. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Hey, Zerf. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Said so you shouldn't play counter magic at all. What, what do you think about that? It makes a lot of sense these days with. Honestly, with um, with Little Teferi, how it is, counter magic's never been worse than like what it is right now. So, I don't, I don't hate that. Or, you know, I don't really like disagree or anything with that. Like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't like uh, counter magic right now. So you can sit, but this just keeps making more and more three threes. I have a bunch of mana for this crisis. I don't know about Elder Spell. I know I definitely don't want Founder Renew at all. That card's getting out of my deck. Much rather have Duress. I'm going to take out a Psy also, since we were playing Ritual of Soot and taking out a good amount of artifacts. I'm going to only play one Psy and play an Elder Spell over a Psy. We need more lands. I can't beat that card, and I can't beat that card. Can't beat either of them. When we just hit land drops and get to Tezzeret and stuff again, like we did that first game. All right, we're hitting land drops. We're getting there. We got a Contempt for Anissa. Sultai cards are really good, though. This is... Not going to be a good matchup for us. Ooh, going off. Here we go. We're going infinite there. I could honestly see them taking any of these. I don't know exactly which one they're going to take.
Makes sense. They know Nissa is just going to win the game. Um, you were foolish to come. That makes sense. Through this land, we are all connected. Behold, nature's true so Tezzeret's just going to be taking this. Because I need uh, three shot. artifacts in play here to draw two cards. Because I, I need comes easily to look to for some new cards. Um, Okay. Down, 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 down. That worked out pretty well. Tesseract did a real good job drawing us new cards that were worthwhile. Oh, come on. Negate. Ugh. I'm not finished with you. Well, we tried. I guess I could draw a ritual of sit next turn. But then again, where where am I at? Just nowhere. GG. That deck's a lot more powerful than ours. Nissa, really, really good these days. I'm starting to think we need more Ritual of Soots and more Deafening Clarions in standard. These Nissas. Hey, what's up, Budacris? Yep, this is real good, but that's just kind of so many of the Planeswalkers they made. They There are just so many good Planeswalkers with War of the Spark. It's This is just Planeswalker format. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good with playing some Tesserator. Mono blue. Don't see too much mono blue around these days. Makes Nissa so good is that it just continually makes 3-3 three, three haste creatures. Over, you know, every single turn is a 3-3 three, three haste creature. If everybody's playing Planeswalkers, having haste is perfect at, at attacking other Planeswalkers. And even if you have like a sweeper, there comes another haste creature at you. Doing good, Mark. Doing good. Yeah, and you double your mana. <laughs> but yeah, playing in this a deck after this, the Simic Mid Range, we're going to be playing that in ranked. That's a. That's a Nissa deck. You don't see very much mono blue these days. Mono blue is going to be really difficult for us to beat. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to be 1 2 here. Well, we're definitely not winning this game, but maybe we win games 2 and 3 with some more interaction. Or we're at like, you know, 2% to win this game after the one drop and obsession. And 
two percent's never good. You just want fat free, skim milk. I like that. Some people like whole milk. I like skim milk. I like my milk tasting like protein water, basically. Do they actually just have no counter magic at all? They're just like playing like this trickster out main phase? I wish I had a ritual of set now. Maybe we're higher than 2% now. I, I don't know. I don't know what our... Why our opponent played that trickster there. And then the Terror Mander, right? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't have any answers over here. It's possible they're just, you know, like, learning the deck. You know, like, this is, like, they're... They're just starting, like, playing Magic where they got a... A deck that... Doesn't take very many wild cards that people recommended, you know, kind of thing. And they're probably just just learning magic. But yeah, they should be playing these tricksters at my end step. Always. And unfortunately, we don't have... I don't have any sweepers main deck, I don't think. They have spell pierce in hand? What's T O F, Mark? What is that? Okay, I can't answer your question. I don't know what your your question is. Thief of Sanity? Oh. Yeah, no, not playing any Thief of Sanity. Thief isn't isn't so good these days in this world of little Teferi. Alright, so this will get this will either have the Storm Tamer get sacrificed or eat up a counter spell. Either way, they should be tapping out here, which will help being our enter the god eternals will be able to resolve. Okay, so let's do this upkeep, but we're gonna we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a double spell here, basically. And because of Terramander, I should probably target me, but I'm gonna kill Terramander. I was gonna target them. You have another Terramander though. I guess it should just be me. I don't like targeting me though. Last time it didn't work. All right, so because they put these in backwards, so they would have just drawn Wizards or Tort, then Chart of Course, then Tempest Gin. Those are going to be their next few cards to draw. All right, using all those treasures and everything while they were tapped out. So I flipped the Treasure Cove and used all of it. Now let's get an upkeep scry in now. Ugh, more tricksters. Yeah, 
If I had artifact spells, this would be pretty cool. Make little 1-1 one -one flyers. That's just until end of turn. Yeah. Good game. All right, moment, moment, duress, 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 negate, negate, cry, cry, soot, soot, contempt, enter the God Eternals. I'm not so sure about that contempt, or the enter the God Eternals in this matchup. That costs a lot of mana. All right, so we're getting rid of Spyglass. We are getting rid of this Healy that just makes a bunch of little one ones on the ground. Guild Globe doesn't really do very much. Psy so makes flyers in the air. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I don't know how we're winning. Yeah, we're we're pretty bad in this matchup. Yeah, we're pretty bad in this matchup. Um, I feel like Enter the God Eternals could do more work than it normally would. That's what I'm going to try to do, deal with their threats and kill them. I'm never going to take out all the big Tez. The, the bigger Tez. That's our deck. We'll go down to one sometimes, but I'm not going to cut, not going to go down to zero of those. All right, so they have Curious Obsession plus Dive Down or Spell Pierce. Then I'm going to get really punished for casting this Guild Globe. But as you can see, how we don't have any lands, I really want to draw land, you know, be able to hit land drop. So I, I'm casting the Guild Globe here, but I don't have the Negate up for it. Okay, well that's that one's fine, of course. Either the Negate or like the Tyrant Scorn, either one. All right, let's do it one more time. Hopefully, get to like ritual set next turn. Basically, we have we have like we own watery graves, but we also have Demir Gilgates that just wanted to play that before our land. Let's see if we hit like Demir Gilgate. Put him play tapped. But it's certainly possible their opponent just taps out again. They've been tapping out quite a bit. They should not be tapping out this much, but it's good good for us. <laughs> You'll ride if no claws. I wish I could tell my opponent that this has flash so they don't play this sorcery speed against other people, so they stop doing that. I wish I could tell them. I don't need to walk into Spell Pierce. Well, 
We got plenty of life. We can just take two here. I'm not using Tyrant Scorn on it because I want to save it for a Tempest Gen or a Terramander. But th this does mean that I'm turning on their chart of course. Oh well. There was the spell pierce. They got double pierce. Some solutions must be built. Yeah, that was unexpected. I was definitely thinking there was like a second spell pierce or something. These card tokens are just super, super bad against Trickster, right? Yeah, aren't these just, yeah, like, these are just zero zeros, so, like, Trickster just kills these completely. So presumably that's their only counter spell because they didn't counter the card last turn. My employer sent my device is finished. As are you. Allow me to introduce mm. you to a friend of mine. Is Gruel better than Celestia? They're pretty close, honestly. Selesnya is going to be better against aggro decks, where Gruul is going to be better against, um, like, control decks, or, like, planeswalker decks, like, with the, the haste that you have. Um. Uh, Henry Kindling Phoenix is another really sticky threat. Guild Globes were pretty important of me hitting land drops there. But on the draw, we got that extra draw step. I'm going to take one out for the for another Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, Trickster kills the Karnstrucks. Which is sad. Alright, got some Sweepas. Yeah, uh, I am going to be playing that probably tomorrow, Lords of, Lords of Bugu. Ask, can you play Grixis Discard version with the new set? Um, I've been I've been working on that deck recently, and I have a list that I like that I'll play tomorrow. I'm not playing it today because we are um, playing this Demir deck also, so we're not playing two Demir decks, two Demir control decks. Hey, what's up, J-Rock? J. Rockefeller. Does it work? Work? Doesn't work. I 
I need to play a... Uh, they did not tap out. Looks like they're doing a good job of not tapping out this time. Dang. You would to play that during their upkeep? Yeah, but... It, it turns on, like, two-mana interaction instead. As far, like, you know, for... Like, this forces them to have one of their six to eight one-mana spells. Hmm. Definitely at Contempt right now. So yeah, we can have them spend mana on their turn. Hopefully they only have one counter spell. It's a good ish sign. So they need exactly spell pierce. Please no spell pierce. Ugh, if I had one more mana. No spell pierce. Okay, restart. Hmm. That was not the card I wanted to see. In fact, that was the card I wanted to see the least, to be honest. Oh wait, I have Blast Zone. I could have just used the Blast Zone previously, couldn't I? We lose it to a bot, no. No, we are we are certainly losing, but I don't think our opponent's a bot. Ugh. Need a removal spell for Tempest Gin. Anything but Tempest Gin. Thing just kills so quickly. Should I use Blast Zone previously? Instead of Contempt, like on their turn? So we'll just be dying to the Tempest Gen, though. But maybe I could duress and then negate, get rid of counter spells, and then I would have had Ritual also for Tempest Gen. All right, we need to land. Well chosen. Uh. We need a land so we could blast zone away the Storm Tamer and then Siren Scorn the Tempest Gin.
Good game. Well, I guess I'd just make them do it, but... Let's see if they... Do they cast Trickster at end step? No. I feel like I should just concede. Okay, well, I think our opponent's gonna get us anyway. I guess I have the Karn to block the Trickster. Yeah, I can I can blast on away the one drops, and I can have Karn make a token to block the Trickster. Okay. Not an untapped land, so I don't get to... Oh, wait. I'm just going to blow up this Foundry Renewal now. Oh, well. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. I guess I need to Foundry Renewal afterwards. I want to see if they just play a one-drop here. Like, if they have a, like if they draw another flyer, I want to hold up Blast Zone for another flyer. Yeah, this is somebody. Yeah, this is somebody who's new to magic. All right, so the trickster is gonna survive. That's okay. Shouldn't have played the fountain. It's perfectly fine though. It's all good. So I, I'm basically gonna just die to die to another trickster. I can go grab Tezzeret. No, I'm I'm not gonna grab Tezzeret yet. Allow me to you to a I wanna have Negate up. So it's just so just Trickster kills us. Which I wouldn't mind. Ah, uh, dang. I feel bad. I just feel bad for our opponent. So they could, they could draw a Tempest Gin into. They need to draw a Tempest Gin here and then into Trickster to tap like a blocker, because I, I can make a blocker with Tezzeret. Well. So for y'all that are saying that our, our opponents is playing mono blue, so they deserve this, or like you know, like they did, like they're probably somebody who's just you know kind of new to Magic and and they're like just asking what's a what's a cheap a good cheap deck to to Nothing build on Arena and lost. people just say mono blue, and so then they make mono blue.
All right, so I did that post combat, even though I know so now I know those are now six sixes, but I I thought that their card in hand was going to be a, a counter spell. And so then I was going to have to use two treasures for negate. So I thought I was going to actually be down one. Please don't refer to Dex as cancer. Please don't do that. That's... That is... Insensitive. I've heard from... Multiple people that have had uh, experiences with having cancer, that that's just a really insensitive thing to be saying. All right, we're two and one with Demir Tezzeret. Probably should be one and two, but. Hopefully our opponent's learning and maybe they'll stop playing the tricksters on their own turn. All right, we've got Fountain of Renewal. We playing against red? This, this would be a good hand against red. <sighs> mono blue? Nobody plays mono blue anymore. Ah, Drake's. Not mono blue. Mono blue splash Drake's. <sighs> Gotta hydrate. That stay hydrated bot. Let me know. Keep. No, you don't gain that life. You take two instead. Shock. I like it. Well, I guess this Fountain of Renewal traded with the card now. You got Dive Down. Alright. I'll take that Dive Down right there. So <clears throat> so the Enter the God Eternals doesn't get dived down later. Yeah, we'll go with Sublime this turn. I'm sorry to hear that, Naba. Or Nabo. Yeah, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. Hey, what's up, Boot? Ooh, our second sub of the day. Oh, I never updated the... the I forgot to update this, the sub goal from yesterday. It's that time again. That 33-month streak. So many hype boats. Thanks for that resub there. Boot, are you... Are you heading back this weekend? Are you still down in Atlanta? Living it up? Oh. Oh, keep stop. Wait, so they shocked Sahili and then bounced it. Yeah, I want Tezzeret. And Coffee Black getting that resub as well. Welcome back, Coffee Black.
Wait, cancel. Definitely should be milling myself against the Drake deck. Ugh, another dive down. Yuck. Well, at least I'll mill four. Oh, and make four four. That's cool. Oh man, these are all four good cards. Terramander's kind of doing it. Return an artifact card. Nope, that's not going to do anything. All right, time for the claw. Do not get in my way. Is... That is the sound of your demise. All right, we've got three draws to find something to take care of this Terramander. No! You think this fight mattered? Okay. Um... Wait. Z. Let's get Sublime out here. Behold, new wonders. Okay, so we have two of our Tezzerets are gone. We still have one one more Tezzeret that we're going to be digging towards now. Uh, oh, well, we got we got to activate the Claw once. Yeah, this is Sublime. Uh, let's see. Contempt God Eternals. No spyglass and out of Sahili for a duress. Maybe just out the Sahili. I kind of want duress. All right, so this is what I'm looking at right here. Do we want duresses in here? Nah, we don't need duresses. Let's just go with this. <laughs> It is not pay to play. Is this is this guide still up and everything? Here, maybe maybe check out check out this site. Here's like the main site. Boydy boy, check that out for a lot of information about arena for new players and everything. Mm -hmm. Let's make that a command. New player. There you go. Toiletdrake.com. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, that's the website that has a lot of good information about um, arena, new player experience, uh, talks about the economy, events, everything. Draw card. Yeah, no problem.
All right, so we'll have treasure map next turn because we really need three mana anyway for treasure map. So just starting with the guild globe. Do I need to kill that Enigma Drake though? <clears throat> yeah, I probably should. The Mox Amber isn't adding any mana, so there's, there's just not a reason to play it. And that card right there, Charter Course, was like the big reason why I wanted to kill the Drake right away. So that it couldn't just start attacking. And... <clears throat> improve and uh, turn on Charter Course. Because, you know, they had to discard a Finale of Promise. Which I don't... I don't really know why discarding Finale of Promise and then just Lightning Striking me instead of just discarding Lightning Strike and keeping Finale of Promise. But oh well. Hase. Looks like we got some, some mysteries... We we need to wield. Wait, mill me? Why would milling me make sense? Aren't you like a Drake deck? Don't you want stuff? Oh, wait, I need that. Your victory is just an illusion. Uh, I don't know if Elder Spell is good enough main deck. Like maybe, like if you have, if you're playing a Planeswalker deck, where you can, where you would be able to use the other ability, then probably. Yeah, I'll take Sublime. Sublime can help turn on this Master of the Bridge. Okay, or get countered so Tezzeret doesn't get countered. Can do that too. So I was gonna be able to play if I played Sahili, I was gonna be able to play Mox Amber and Treasure Map. And the Mox Amber is gonna be able to activate this treasure map. I would have made a couple of artifacts. Just spark double to Shalai. Lucky. I flipped a treasure map. Does that count? So two cards in hand. I've already seen one counter spell. Mox Amber, sweet animation. All right, here comes the claw. Boom. My artifacts give them strength. So what do we need Mox Amber for in the deck? Mox Amber isn't isn't great. That's like there's just one of them, but it does it makes uh, Sai and Sahili both better. Of being able to, especially Sahili, being able to play Sahili on like turn three and then play Mox Amber and make a token automatically to block for Sahili. Zero mana Karn. Okay, we're three and one. Demir Tesserator. Getting it done. Okay. 
of feel like I should be restarting Arena. That last game was really choppy. Can I cancel this and restart? No, it's too late. Yeah, it's getting kind of choppy here. No, it's not used for other colors, but Mox Amber doesn't, it doesn't tap for other colors. It only taps for the color of mana. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not a five color Mox. It only taps for colors of mana that you have creatures and planeswalkers of. Turn one, turn one Lana War Elf is pretty unbeatable. Decks don't really beat turn one Lana War Elf. Best one drop in the format. Especially my deck. This one is not going to beat turn one Lana War Elf. Authority that I recognize is chaos. I am cast. Some solutions must be built. We have just two lands with the extra land worlds in Domri. That's that's nice. And I can't kill the land of Worlds or Domri. So they just get like that that extra mana there. But they're not flooding out. No, no antiquities of war. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> nice, way to go. Beating mono red on the draw. Yep. Whoops. Definitely need that upkeep scry in there. I don't, I don't have, no, actually, Bo Boydie, I don't. Maybe somebody in the chat does, but I do not. Ravnica deserves its demise. Gill globe. Don't know exactly what we're looking for. I don't really have sweepers in the main deck. You know, we need whatever removal for this hell kite, but we're still just dead to everything else. Those are not the cards. Those cards are not going to do. That's not going to do either. I can use all these treasures to contempt the Hellkite, but to what end? Yes, I can contempt the Hellkite, but I don't have anything that's going to stop these from killing me in my deck. Oh, yeah. Alright, Moment of Craving, Cry of the Carnarium, Ritual of Soot, Contempt, Enter the God Eternals. I guess maybe Enter the God Eternals could have helped me stabilize last game. Hmm. 
These green creature decks, I don't have enough removal for. I don't have enough sweepers. I don't have good sweepers. Maybe it would need to be Esper. Be able to have act like real sweepers and Smothering Tithe. Like Smothering Tithe instead of Sahili. And then like Kaya's Wraths and stuff. It would basically be Esper Control, Sahili, Tezzeret. I'm thinking that might may have been a little bit better. But as is, I don't think I have good enough sweepers. The problem with that is if if we don't, the problem with playing that other deck is if we don't have smothering tithe and if and or if they're just paying the extra mana, like we don't really have artifacts. Like maybe I guess treasure, I guess treasure map Tezzeret. Yeah, I could have I could have like the the blue Tezzeret to make artifacts for the blue black Tezzeret. And War Elves is so busted. Really? I put that stop on, on the upkeep. I definitely put that stop on the upkeep. Guess I don't need it now. The problem with the, the whole Esper Colors is like doing the actual artifact stuff. Do we draw? Behold! I guess I have the the treasure map I can flip. We'll see if we get lucky and draw the black mana first. Nope. So we're going to have to use two treasures here. Just considering playing like the Sahili and then and Tyrant Spawn, but I don't think it's worth it. So many growth chamber guardians. Ow. 
Phoenix. There goes the contempt. I guess it's Growth Chamber Guardian. I don't really have any incentive to wait. So, uh, earlier, th sorry, there was a question earlier of why was I using the treasure. And that's because I didn't have enough black mana. Like, these, these cards cost two black, and I only had the one swamp, so I had to use treasure to be able to cast my spell. Which is why I used it earlier. Man, this is bad. Wish I would have reset the client before this. Using Karn to dig here instead of minus, like minusing isn't doesn't really help us. Haven't found an answer to Hellkite. Yay, we got an answer to Hellkite. All right, let's start with. Wait, can I cast both of these? One, two, three. Yes, I can. The choices we make reveal who we are. All right, start with the cry. We have to just exile that that thing. And we'll go grab the other Tezzeret. It's looking like we finally stabilized. Ugh. Dang, maybe not. Maybe not. The time has come. Draw two. Look, you are still one step behind. I think I just want to be drawn two cards every turn. That's how I'll pull ahead. Um, yeah, let's draw two first. I know what must be done. Man. A curious choice. Mm-hmm. 
So what's the other card? The other card's Founder Renewal. Jeez. Well. Dead yet. One, two, three. I don't think I have the mana to do four, do I? I'm just gonna try it. Nope. Alright, still not dead. Cool, Jelly. Good. What was lost is now returned. Of course. Oh, uh, four lands. All right, stabilized. We got there. It looked pretty bad for us, but we got there. We did it. We only had the two Sahilis in. Well, they were perfect. If I if I alt F4 and then rejoin, will that be, be will that make it better? Hmm. This doesn't look so good. This is a hand that's going to get run over. Our first interaction is like Contempt on turn four. But also, this is kind of the best that our deck does. It's like Treasure Map into Contempt. Dang it. Can they just not have turn one Lanor Elf for once? And that was our, our main strat here, was them not having turn one Llanowar Elf. Okay. Well, I'll, this game may not last very long. I think we're doing enough okay right now. All right, we gotta draw black source. Jeez. Can you draw black source and ritual set? I don't think we can draw both of those. Oh, but now I'm tapping my treasure map, so I won't even be able to play anything. Right. <laughs> Great hand. Good game. Turn two Spellbreaker, and then turn four Sarkin. Lane of Elves is busted. All right, three and two. That, you know, I... I kept that hand knowing that we were not beating the turn one Lanor Elf curve out hand. Um, but I, it's not like our deck is great against that 
you know, it's, it's not, it wasn't a very high chance that a six card hand was going to beat a, a land world curve out hand. So I thought it was a lot better chance that we had a pretty good hand that they just had a slower hand and didn't curve out with land or elf um, and gave us some time. I think that was, that was our best bet. Um, but you know, it didn't work. So yeah, this, this was pretty cool. We got to, we got to use the claw there with Tezzeret some, um, went three, two, uh, of course, enter the God Eternals is really good. Tezzeret artifice master. Also, this card was awesome for us of like, just, you know, draw two all the time. You know, that was its ability, zero mana draw two. And that was really good. Uh, renewal wasn't so bad. Definitely stayed alive some because of Renewal. Uh, Guild Glove was okay. Sahili did really good in one of the games. And Karn was actually really impressive in these games, too. Like, the minus two was big. We were making some huge con constructs a lot. But there we go. That's Demir Tezzerator. We are talking about um, the problem with this deck is just not having good sweepers and not, like, so good at interaction like that. So another option for Tezzeret Master of Bridge may be that we were talking about is maybe going Esper where you can have Kaya's Wrath and you can have like some better removal that helps you gain life. Like, you know, basically not play the artifact stuff, play like Esper control and then like kind of like normal Esper control, but with smothering tithe to be able to get you a bunch of artifacts and then maybe the other Karn so that the, and then, and, and then have like some artifacts in your sideboard and that kind of deck, you'd probably want artifacts in your sideboard that you can go grab. And, and with smothering tithe, maybe that's enough artifacts for this Tezzeret, but you can, you can be a lot better against like regular creature decks and stuff. All right. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, but that's it for Demir Tezzerator. Uh, please hit that like button over there and the subscribe.